Hey, 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 it's me doing feels, and this is, it's my time to shine. This is a, for moms and for wives, those of us who have put our dreams and our hopes on the back burner because we were raising our family. And now the children just don't need us as much as they used to. Maybe we the empty nesters. And basically, I kind of focus on empty nesters because that's pretty much what I am, an empty nester. And I help in, empty, empty nesters go from being empty nesters to being entrepreneurs because I feel that being an entrepreneur is what kind of covers all the things that we uh, that we become depressed about when we become empty nesters. One, we don't we need something to fill our time, and starting a business is the best way to fill your time. What I found out what works best is um, the industry called network marketing because it covers all the things that we kind of need. You might not know how to start a business, and you don't have to if you're in network marketing. They show you how to do it. It's it's their uh, in order for them to be successful, they have to make sure you're successful. So you got all the training in the world, got tons of friends, people, you know, at our age, it's hard to go out and make, meet friends, but you can meet friends in network marketing, like-minded people that uh, work with you every day. So it's really just a great way to uh, cover everything that you lack in when you become an empty nester. But today it's the end of the year. And you know what happens at the end of the year, we start reflecting on everything that happened over 2021. I can't even believe how fast this year went by. It just went by like all of the years. When you get older, <laughs> the years just go by like this. I don't know. Like it was just like two months ago, we were celebrating, the, uh, we were saying, you know, it was the new year. We was all watching the ball fall. And that was 12 months later. But we gotta reflect. This is time to reflect over the year and see the things that we that we liked, and see the things that we didn't like so much, and the things that we want to improve on. And that's what we normally do at this time of year is start setting up for 2022. So that's why today I want to go over goal setting because a lot of people don't really know how to set proper goals. So we're gonna talk about setting proper goals and how how to go about doing that. Now, basically, I'm going to start off really quick. It's three ways to set three things you need every time you set a goal. You can write this down, memorize it, but you cannot set a proper goal without these three things. One, uh, first thing you need to do is you have to be very clear and specific about what it is that you want. A lot of times we just are very vague about what we want. We might say, oh, in 2022, I want to make more money. Well, that's very vague because what does make more money mean? Because to some person, make more money might be 20 extra dollars a day. Or another person might mean $1,000 a month. Uh, somebody else, it might mean $20,000 extra a year. Somebody else, it might mean $20 million. So setting, you have to be very, very specific because when you put intentions out or your goals, it's the creator that helps bring about these things. And to me, the creator has a very warped sense of humor. <laughs> If you're not really specific about what it is that you want or what it is that you desire, if you just put something out there, you'll get what you ask for. It may not be what you want, but it's what you ask for. So that's why you have to be very clear, very precise, and very specific about what it is that you want. Um, the second thing that you have to do is you have to make an action plan for it. You can't just throw out something and say, I want to do this. This is my goal, but you don't have any action to reach that goal. You have to actually have an action plan to reach the goal that you desire. So can't just uh, say, I want to do this. And then you don't, you don't have any steps. It's like a to do this. It's something that you have to do to actually reach that goal. And the third thing is you have to set a deadline. You have to have a date, a date, a goal without a date is just a dream. So you have to set a deadline, set a date for when you're going to accomplish this. I'm going to give you some examples. Now, also, it's important that you, um, you start setting goals for every aspect of your life that you want to change. Like, say, for instance, you want to set health goals. This year, 2022, you might want to, you know, lose weight, get healthy, whatever. You have to set goals for that. So let's say your goal number one is I want to lose 20 pounds by this certain date. Now, you're not even going to say I want to lose. When you set your goals, you set them as affirmations because when you set when you said it as you said it's something that already happened, like I lose 20 pounds by March 1st, 2022. That's how you set a proper goal. You say exactly what it is you want. You um you give it a deadline, and then you have to set 
out an outline on how you're going to reach that goal. So if your goal is to re- lose 20 pounds by March 1st, 2022, you have to say, what do you have to do? Maybe you, your goal, maybe what your to-do list might be, I'm going to cut out all sugars. I'm going to exercise every day. I'm going to be more, I'm going to eat more healthy. And then you're going to break down what each of those things mean. What does eat more healthy means? So you might say for breakfast, I'm going to do this. Or you might say, I'm going to eat raw vegan, or I'm going to uh, bring, become more vegetarian and find out what that means and what I have to do to get that, to do that. So you have to actually set a plan and, and, and put it in motion. You can't be vague about the things that you want. Now, I don't believe in setting New Year's resolutions because most of the time people who set resolutions by the fifth or sixth of the year, they forgot the resolution. It's more important that you set a goal and not just set the goal, but you be very, one, very, very precise about what that goal is. Number two, that you set out an action plan for that goal. And number three, that you set a date for that goal. So, and you should use every aspect of your life. Let's say personal life. Let's you set personal life goals. Maybe this year you want to go on vacation. So this year I want to go to Hawaii. Okay. So what date do you want to do that by? How be very specific. I want to go to Hawaii. I'm gonna plan a girls trip to Hawaii. I'm gonna invite X Y Z Z Z Z, and we're going to go to girls trip to Hawaii in the month of July uh, for five, five days. And then you go about setting, okay, to find out how much does it cost for an airline ticket to, to Hawaii? What part of Hawaii are you going to go into? Where are you going to stay? What's the hotel you're going to stay? How much money do you need to do this? And how much money do you have to put aside each month in order for you to reach this goal? See, that's how you set proper goals. Be very specific. Make make an um, outline, a plan of action, and also set a date. So let's say you want relationship goals. Let's say you want to, this year I plan on strengthening my marriage, especially us um, empty nesters. What happens when the kids go, uh, either you get stronger with your spouse or you get divorced from your spouse. (laughs) I see a lot of people who become empty nesters and divorced all in the same year. Okay. So you might want to set relationship goals. Maybe your goal is to get closer with your spouse or maybe your goal is to divorce your spouse or maybe your goal is to start dating. Maybe you already you're not married and your goal is to start dating or whatever. Maybe you, they don't even have to be um, love relationships. Maybe you want to strengthen your life relationship with your children. Maybe you want to strengthen your relationship with your in-laws. Maybe you want to strengthen your relationship with your friends. Maybe you have, haven't had time to spend a lot of times with your friends. I know this year I moved, I mean, two years or two and a half years ago, I moved from New Jersey to North Carolina. So I haven't seen very many of my friends at all in the past two and a half years. So maybe a goal might be to start strengthening your friendship relationship. But whatever the goal is, you have to be very specific about it. Write down an action plan. So maybe your action plan is I'm going to reach out to more people this year. I'm going to not just text, but I'm going to call someone. So by February, I would have called 10 of my friends on a regular basis and and caught up with whatever was going on in their life. So whatever it is, you just set up. If it's your spouse, say, hey, maybe I'm going to go out. If your intention is to strengthen your relationship, we're going to go out on a date once a week. And you set up that date and you set up where you're going to go and that type of thing. Set a date and and know exactly what it is that you're doing. Let's say I think you should have um, a goal set for personal finances, Mm -hmm. for your health, for relationships. And any other little thing that you have, but set the goals, put down something every single day of what your goal is going to be and just work on it every single day. I hope this was something that was helpful for you. Um, start setting those goals, especially you empty nesters. You have to keep yourself busy. You can't sit there. Even if you don't go from net empty nesters to entrepreneur, you still want to fill that void that your children left when they moved out. Now you have to redirect your purpose in life. Your purpose was to focus on your children where you even put yourself on a back burner, put all your dreams on a back burner while you did that. Now you have the opportunity to focus on yourself. You know what happens when a lot of people retire from their job and they, they, they retire from the job and then they die shortly afterwards because they don't have any plan. They just, I'm retired and I'm just home and I'm doing nothing. You know, they're not living life. So you don't want to be that person. You want to be a person who active, constantly doing something, 
set your goals, set your goals for 2022. If you set your goals properly, and if you focus on those goals, you write them out as affirmations as if they already happened, and you put those goals someplace where you can see them, where they're in the forefront of your mind all the time, you will achieve those goals if you actively work towards it and believe. We're going to talk about beliefs and stuff like that during the course of the show. But it's my time to shine. I want to wish you all a happy and wonderful new year. If I don't see you before the new year comes in. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. See you later. Bye-bye.